Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over linear plot elements. So um, linear just means that it goes in a straight line. That means that the story doesn't have flashbacks or flash forwards where the plot kind of jumps. It just goes straight uh, in the present from the beginning to the end. Plot is just all the events of a story. So remember that with plot, we are talking about a fiction story and a narrative, something that tells events that happened in order. So to have our notes ready, make sure that you have your visa on the left side of your notebook and that the note taker um, is glued onto the right side. Remember that visa stands for video title, illustration, summary, and we use the sentence stem, I learned that, to get started. And then A is for ask a question. Also remember that that part, the ask a question, is what you're going to post on Google Classroom so that I know that you actually saw the video and that you understood what was there. So this is the note taker that you should have on your right side. Right now it is blank. And remember that as you see the notes uh, coming up on the screen, you're going to be filling in your note taker and have that ready in class so we can use it when uh, we go over plot. So let's start with exposition. This is the very bottom. This is the beginning of our plot diagram. This is where the characters in the setting are introduced to set the stage for a plot. This is basically the beginning of the story when you find out who the story is going to be about and where they are. So your notes should look like this at this point where you have the exposition filled in. The second part is the problem. This is the challenge that the main character or characters, sometimes there's more than one main character, uh, faces. This drives the action of the story. Without the problem, um, it's just a series of events going nowhere. So the problem is really what drives the excitement and the action of the story. And this is uh, what the, the character is trying to solve for the rest of the events. Then we have the rising action. These are all the events that occur while the main character is trying to solve their problem. At this point, the problem hasn't been solved yet, but this is just kind of everything that leads them on their course once they have a problem to get to the point where they can solve it. We are at the tippy top of the plot diagram and that takes us to our climax. This is the aha moment of the story or the turning point. This is the most important part where everything changes. So this is why in our plot diagram, this is where we change directions. It was going up and now it's coming down. This is where usually the character learns something important or something is revealed in the story that tells you like, aha, uh -huh, we're starting to figure out like clues to what the solution can be, but we haven't quite solved the problem yet. So just like we had rising action, once we got to the top, we got to the, the climax, the most important part of the story, now we have the falling action. These are the events that begin to lead to the solution to the main problem of the story. This is where you can tell that the story is kind of starting to wrap up and it's coming to an end, but it hasn't quite ended yet. So these are all the events that happen after the big aha moment where the character is starting to get to their solution. And that brings us to the end of the story. This is the resolution. This is the conclusion to the story. That means it's the end. Most stories here do have a solution, but there's some of them that end without the problem being solved, especially when it comes to a book that is part of a series, right? They're not going to completely solve all the characters' problems because the author wants you to read book two. And then in book two, they want you to read book three. So the story kind of continues throughout a series of books. Um, but then there's some stories that the author just makes a choice that they don't want the problem to be solved. The story does come to an end somehow and it wraps up in a way, but it doesn't necessarily always solve the problem that the character had. And then that brings us to theme. After the story ends, after it comes to some kind of conclusion, this is the lesson or the message of the story, what the main character really learns from it. Um, this is some kind of big idea that applies to real life, not just the situation that was presented in the story, but something that even you could take back and learn from it. Okay, um, Most fiction stories have some kind of lesson, but sometimes it's just a message. Like, what was the story about? It could be something as simple like friendship, um, love, 
It could be about forgiveness. It could be about challenging yourself. It could be about being true to yourself. So some kind of message, like what did the author want you to know by reading this story? So at this point, you have your plot diagram complete. Okay, you have all your notes here. And for the most part, um, any fiction story can be plotted out on a plot diagram. Some are a lot easier to plot out because, um, you know, the climax is a lot more obvious or the problem is a lot more obvious. And sometimes stories can be a little more subtle. They can be a little more complicated and a little more difficult to put on here. But for the most part, most fiction stories can follow some kind of plot diagram like this. Uh, now, keep in mind that it doesn't always look nice and even the way it is here. Sometimes you have a lot more rising action than you do falling action. Sometimes you have a lot more falling action than you have rising action. Um, remember, sometimes you have a solution, sometimes you don't. So this is just a general plot diagram, but just know that it gets adjusted depending on what the story is like, okay? Um, so we're gonna be using this plot diagram in class. Make sure you're familiar with all of the vocabulary, the parts of the plot diagram and what they mean. Um, make sure that your notes have been completed. Make sure that you complete every section of your visa including the illustration, the summary. And when you get to part A, make sure you put it in your notebook and that you respond on Google Classroom with your question. Remember that that question is what helps me guide the discussions in class and what helps me know that you actually read, I'm sorry, watched the video and paid attention to what we were doing. All right, bye.